Hello there. A recent poll shows that support for the Nigel Farage Brexit party will collapse if the next Tory Prime Minister delivers Brexit on the 31st of October. It turns out that Halloween could be a night of horrors for Nigel Farage and the Brexit party if the new Conservative Party leader and Prime Minister, whether it be Boris Johnson or Jeremy Hunt, is able to deliver Brexit on time. An ORB international poll for The Telegraph shows that the current Conservative Party member support for the Brexit party would fizzle out overnight if Brexit were delivered. If the UK does not exit the bloc on time and there were a general election, the poll shows that 56% of members would vote for the Tories, 35% for the Brexit party, 5% for the Lib Dems, 1% for UKIP and 3% for the other parties. But if the UK does leave on time, then 92% will vote for the Tories, just 5% will vote for the Brexit party and 3% for the Lib Dems. And although this is just a sample from the Tory membership, one can quite easily imagine this being reflected amongst the wider Tory voting public, who might feel job done and return back to their familiar stomping ground. And that could also well apply to voters from other parties too, like Labour. It's a hugely significant polling result, and one that will have Nigel Farage scratching his head, wondering how he can deliver the promise to change UK politics for good with a support base from his main supplier reduced to that size. Of course, Farage has seen this all before, when as the leader of UKIP, once the referendum result to leave the EU was achieved, UKIP saw its membership numbers decline as many jumped ship or let their membership lapse, thinking it was all over and we can trust the Tories to deliver. Now if Boris becomes Prime Minister and does deliver Brexit, then Nigel Farage and his team of MEPs will be shutting their EU Parliament offices on the 31st of October and returning to the UK. This will mean that Nigel Farage will have lost his main call on the media and how many of those MEPs and those on the MP candidate list he is trying to put together would stay with him as they potentially see the Brexit party poll ratings slide. He would also probably have to look at renaming and rebranding the party as well as identifying a new political niche and unique selling points. Without the big Brexit hook, one wonders if a political party campaigning on the wholesale political reform of the UK would have the same magnetic attraction. Unless, of course, he and his team are committed to their cause, even if Brexit is delivered, and, starting right now, can come up with a whole raft of policies across the board that will set them apart from the rest and be attractive to a large number of voters. Nigel Farage had to help form one political party to get the Brexit vote. He has formed another to force Brexit through to completion. And if that is successful, will he end up having to do it all again to try and change politics for good? Which is, after all, his stated aim. And more importantly, would he want to? So, what do you think? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel and when subscribing please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button that way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.